Christy, where's the half? Hey, so I have good news and I have bad news. Okay, well. Do you want good news first or bad news first? I just need to know if you found the half. That's what I need to know. Yes, I found him. Cool. Good news is we found him. Okay. Bad news is that he is in Malmo, Sweden. Sweden? Yep. Sweden. Sweden? Really? What do I know about Sweden except for Magnus? I mean, and Magnus can't help me get to the Hoff. Or can he? Well, let's see if Magnus can help us out. No. I already called Magnus, and Magnus is in Dallas. So. Well, I'm not about to give up 100 grand, so what else can I do? All right, well, then book me a ticket to Sweden. I'll go talk to him. First. Why can't I go? I got to negotiate with him, and I can't leave that up to you, so Why can't I gotta you leave go. it up to me? Look, just book me a ticket to Sweden, first class. Why can't I go? I should go. All right, I have a confession. So I've been a fan of David Hasselhoff since before I've had these. And if there's a chance to meet him, I want to be there. How can you go? What are you going to do? You're really, really not very attractive to a dude. Well, uh, top. Who knows? I could totally get you in the door. I could break the ice. He'll want to talk to me. He's not going to want to talk to you. Please? Uh, you know, the more I think about it, that's not a half bad idea, because I got to go into this thing with, like, guns blazing. And Christy's got a couple assets that I don't possess. OK, fine. Yes. Two tickets to Sweden. Put me in first class. You're going coach. I can't afford you first class. Whatever. It's about damn time. You said be here at 11. It's like 11.30. I'm still on American time. Is this any good? I've walked around and around and around. I've been through the square. This looks interesting. OK, so we've been on a plane for 11 hours. I haven't slept since day before yesterday. Can you please tell me what we're doing? You told me that the hop was in Switzerland for this concert thing. That's all we need to know. Then we'll we're just. In Sweden, not Switzerland. <laughs> So Christy found out that uh, David Hasselhoff was here in Sweden. In America, we know the Hoff is a TV star, but overseas, he's a pop star. And he's doing some, like, 80s party tonight. And uh, it's a big concert, party, I don't know, Swedish stuff. Does he know we're coming? No. Your plan is to just walk in with 20,000 people, and we're just going to magically meet the Hoff? Here's the thing. I can sell anything. I'm thinking if I can just get in the same room with him, I can make a deal and we can get him to make an appearance in Vegas at Jay Ricky's party. That is the stupidest plan ever. Well, that's just the beginning of my plan. Worst case scenario, we're going to travel in style because our ride's here. So let's go. I thought we were walking. Richard doesn't walk anywhere. Richard rides. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, Richard. Welcome to Sweden. How you been? This is Magnus' son. Hi. Hi. I'm Christopher, son of Magnus at Lone Star Cars here in Sweden. And Richard needed a driver, so I'm the man for the job. Let's do it. Yeah, hop in. Be careful, don't hurt it. We got Magnus' 60 Eldorado convertible, and I figure that's, that's the ticket right there. We ride up in style, get out in style, and walk right in the VIP and go, what's up, Pa? Hand signal. <laughs> hey, well, man, I want one of those hats. Let me out. Stop the car. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Wait, OK. Excellent. <laughs> I am definitely, nice definitely feeling Swedish now. <laughs> yeah. That looks good on Woo! you. Perfect. Welcome to Switzerland. I mean, Sweden. OK, so where's this store? What store? I told you I had a plan. We're going shopping. Oh, god. I'll show you. Wow! So uh, tell me, what's up with the horse and the dude? Uh, it's an old king we had here in Sweden. Looks like you guys got a lot of old stuff here. And some young stuff, too. So the land of Sweden's pretty awesome. They've got chocolate and stuff, but I just need the Hoff in Vegas. That's what I need. So how exactly are we getting in to see the Hoff? Do you have a it's plan? It's simple. It's easy. I'm American, and I have a pocket full of Hondos. So we're going to buy some 80s digs, head over to the party, and uh, ask the old Hoffmeister to join us in Vegas. Simple. Really simple. There it is, vintage. Yep. That's what I'm talking about right there. I think the trick to this is that you got to fit in. Members only, that's what I'm talking about. We need, like, a members only jacket and some parachute pants. We're going to be the two dum-dums that are dressed up and nobody else is. 
It is going to be ridiculous, I'm sure. Hey, Einstein, it's Sweden. They're still in the 80s. Ladies. Well, then you should go. No, you're the lady, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> now, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hello, hello. You speak the English? Yes, a little bit. Cool. I need some 80s garb. I don't have so much of 80s, but, but you can pick maybe here something. Is that members only? Oh, yeah. So we go into this little vintage shop, and of course, Richard immediately finds what he needs, as usual. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. What's up with this? Well, I'm ready to go. I got my jacket, I got a scarf. That's horrible. One thing I know about David Hasselhoff is guy likes the women. So, not bringing Aaron this time. I brought Christy because A, she has a and B. Oh, that's it. Are spiked you, bra. Are you serious? That's 80s all the way. What says what's up, Hoff, more than a spiked bra? I'm totally out on this deal. <laughs> are you, what is that? It's really small. Like, that's what I'm talking about right there. That works. Throw that with the pink jacket. Boom. We're going to try to make that work. Richard said it's fantastic, so we'll, we'll see. Look at it. We're ready to go now. OK, but I feel ridiculous. I haven't felt you, so I don't know. I don't think it's good for catching fish, but it caught some It's Gas Monkey Garage, and it's the 80s, and I'm down with the ladies. You want an 80s party? Here you go. Kick it, Aaron. Yeah. First up, we've got Dustin. Get on in there. Look at that. That is a nope if I've ever seen it. Well, duh. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, sleeves. Sleeves has got sleeves on. It's the 80s and sleeves are in style. Oh, sleeves go away. Sleeves go away. Woo! And next up is we've got the ladies, Dabney and Christy. Get in there. Woo! I think I see some kid and play action. Dang, I realize I used to even like chicks that looked like that in the 80s. Wow. <laughs> and Casey. I believe that Casey comes from Casey Kasem. Oh, Casey got into this. He brought his A game. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get with the 80s, man. Get it. <laughs> All right. And then last but not least, Mike Coy and Tony. How about an old fashioned prep off? Get it. Can you do the sprinkler? Show them that sprinkler dance. <laughs> Right on, right on, right on. See, Tony knows all about it. All right, guys, that's our 80s party. We'll see you in Vegas when we have a real one. And remember, when they say couples only, it's couples only on the skating room floor. Woo! Yep, that was cool in the 80s, too.